Dark matter is a substance that we know very little about. This is because it doesn't appear to interact with light or any electromagnetic fields at all. It doesn't reflect, it doesn't absorb, it doesn't emit anything. Therefore, it's been called dark. Some people think this means it's black, like a black hole, but it's not like that either, because to be black would mean it absorbs light, which it doesn't. So it's easier to imagine it as clear or clear matter, but really there is nothing clear about it. Dark matter must be one of, if not the most, mysterious substance in our known universe. We know it exists because it does have some effects on the visible universe, namely gravity. Although dark matter does not reflect, absorb or emit light, it does bend it. It's best to imagine that dark matter doesn't directly interfere with light itself, but rather the space around it. Gravity is not a force, but actually a curvature of space-time. Light will follow a straight line through space-time, but when space-time itself curves, so it will appear that the light also bends and curves. We see this light bending in distant galaxies from our observational telescopes in a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. But when we do the math, it doesn't make sense that the light would be bending unless there is a lot more mass there that we can't actually see. In fact, even when we look at other galaxies in the universe, it doesn't make sense that stars would even stay together like they do. If we add up all the visible stars in each galaxy, there isn't enough mass there to hold them together. They should be drifting away from each other and dispersing, but they're not. Even more mysteriously, you would expect that stars around the edge of the galaxy would spin much more slowly. But they don't. They actually spin quite fast. The simplest explanation lines perfectly with the existence of dark matter around the edge of the galaxies, which then pulls the stars around as it orbits. A lot of galaxies have a supermassive black hole at the centre, such as Sagittarius A in our very own Milky Way galaxy. This black hole has a mass of around 4 million solar masses, which is incredible, but only a drop compared to the roughly 100 billion solar masses of visible matter in the Milky Way making up only 0.004% of the combined visible matter. None of this makes sense that galaxies like ours can hold together or spin the way they do. These supermassive black holes, for example, aren't enough to hold all the stars together. When you combine all these peculiarities, the simplest explanation is that dark matter must exist, and there must be a lot of it. Our best estimates is that 85% of all matter is dark matter, meaning the 100 billion plus solar masses of visible stuff we see in our Milky Way is only around a tenth of what's actually there. The total mass of the Milky Way is probably nearer 1 trillion solar masses, with the visible stuff making only 15% of that. So what is it? What is dark matter? What is it made of? Quite simply, we don't know. There's a few good candidates, but before we get into those, it's probably best to talk about what we think it isn't. Baryonic matter is stuff made up of protons and neutrons and all the typical atoms we see across the universe. This would include all the visible stars and even the weird and wonderful stuff like black holes, neutron stars and white or brown dwarfs. This type of matter all interacts with light in a way that doesn't quite fit what we know about dark matter already. So whatever dark matter is, it's unlikely to be baryonic in nature. This leads us to non-baryonic matter, which is where we enter a strange new world of undiscovered and theoretical particles. One such particle is the axion, Thought to be incredibly small in mass, only one millionth of an electron, this particle is unbelievably hard to study and detect. As yet, this particle is unproven, but would solve two mysteries in our universe if it exists. 
not just dark matter, but also something known as the strong charge parity problem in physics. In essence, there's a few good reasons why axions might exist, and given the detection of the Higgs boson particle, which was theorised before its eventual detection, maybe it's just a matter of time before the axion is confirmed too. It is strange though to imagine that 85% of the mass, especially in our galaxy, could be filled with a particle that has next to zero mass. Another candidate for dark matter is neutrinos, specifically a subset known as the sterile neutrinos. Neutrinos themselves were long thought to be massless particles, however in recent years they have been measured and do indeed have mass, albeit a very small one. Whereas every known particle can come in both left and right-handed forms, a quantum property known as chirality, neutrinos are unique in that they've only been seen to exist as left-handed particles. The hypothetical sterile neutrinos are a right-handed version that physicists suspect interact through gravity alone without any weak interaction, hence why they are hard to detect and thereby also making them great candidates for dark matter. At this point, however, they remain unobserved and continue to be an active area of particle physics research. WIMPs are another hypothetical particle which interact so weakly with normal matter that their acronym stands for Weakly Interacting Massive Particle. They are quite different to axions and sterile neutrinos because their mass is suspected to be much larger, somewhere between a proton and a thousand times larger than a proton. The reason why WIMPs are a serious contender for dark matter is because their existence is actually predicted inside the supersymmetry model of physics. And it just so happens that these particles, when interacting through gravity and the weak interaction force, create the perfect ratio of dark matter to regular matter that we see in the universe today, which is something that has been coined the WIMP miracle. If there is something to be said about physics, or even just the universe in general, there are no such things as coincidences. So perhaps WIMPs really are the undiscovered key waiting to unlock the true secrets about dark matter and what it really is. In summary, dark matter could be a few things. It could be axions, sterile neutrinos, wimps, or even a combination of these. Then again, it might not be any of them. It could be a completely different particle altogether one we haven't yet theorised. Or even not a particle at all. There are those that wonder if Einstein's equations of general relativity aren't entirely finished. A small modification to general relativity could, in theory, eliminate the need for dark matter completely. But the problem with this is that there is so much compelling observational evidence that dark matter must exist, such as gravitational lensing and galaxy rotation speeds that the overwhelming opinion is that dark matter must exist in at least one particle, or perhaps even a combination of different particles that are as yet undiscovered. Whatever dark matter is, one thing is for certain. It remains one of the most mysterious features of our universe. As its true nature and properties continue to elude us, the mystery is something very real and has fueled the imagination and drive towards further discovery. Just like Neil Armstrong once wisely said, mystery creates wonder, and wonder is the basis of man's desire to understand.